Namdi Kano worried as many detainees in DSS custody test positive to tuberculosis. Six World Health Organization Red Cross intervention. Barrister lawyer Jimako lawyer to detain the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB Namdi Kano has raised the alarm that the IPOB leader is presently worried after numerous detainees in the custody of the Department of State Services in Abuja, where he, Kano, is being detained, tested positive to tuberculosis. Nigerian relationship expert, Lesson CEO, finally regains freedom from detention over alleged cyberbullying labor. Her lawyer, Prince Ai Wafuru, confirmed to Sahara reporters that she had been released after spending three weeks in detention. The Nigerian police force had arraigned Okoro before Justice Yelim Bogoro of the Federal High Court on six counts bordering on alleged cyberbullying, labor, and for exhibiting uncensored movies. Biafra is not dead, will be restored soon, IPOB replies Obasanjo. IPOB was reacting to a remark credited to the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, that Biafra was dead and buried on 13th January 1970. The spokesman of the group, Emma Powerful, said no amount of blackmail or propaganda could stop the restoration of Biafra, stressing that Obasanjo acknowledged there was Igbo-phobia in Nigeria. IPOB asked which ethnic group has been subjugated, maltreated, deprived, discriminated against, profiled, hated, militarized, and the youths murdered like the Igbos. Televised electoral cases and deliver judgment before swearing in, says Professor Anthony Killer. Calls have been made for the electoral cases in the court to be televised and for judgment to be delivered before the scheduled date of the swearing-in of the newly elected officials. Professor Anthony Killer, Professor of Strategy and Development and Director of Commonwealth Institute of Advanced and Professional Studies, have stated while responding to an interview as a, a special guest on a television program with News Central TV. Professor Killer acknowledged that there is a lack of confidence among Nigerians in the judicial processes that have been seen in recent times. He believes that the televising the tribunal and delivering judgments before the scheduled dates of the swearing-in of the newly elected officials would help to restore trust in institutions and provide assurance to everyone that the elected leader is legitimate. Shoyinka advised Tinubu and Atiku to step down for fresh blood like Peter Obi. Tunde Odeshola, a renowned political analyst, have revealed that Wale Shoyinka, a Nobel Prize winner in the build-up to the presidential elections, advised the candidates of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, to step down for fresh blood, apparently referring to Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. His words, the Nobel laureate harshly condemned the Independent National Electoral Commission, the federal government, the APC and PDP particularly, recalling how he told Tinubu and Abubakar before the presidential election to quit the stage for the infusion of fresh blood, which ostensibly is Obi, Shoyinka simply urged Dati to rein in his rage and let the election petition follow due process rather than threaten. That was Odesola in defense of Wale Shoyinka. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates.